I'm Mrs. Nizwicki, the math coach at Lowell, and I hope everybody's doing good today. And I'm here to do a math talk with you. This one is called Math for All Seasons. It's a book by Greg Tang, and I'm going to actually read one of the poems to you. While you look at the picture of the eggs and try and figure out how many eggs there are. So he will give you a little bit of hint. And I actually have my two daughters here, Allie and Jamie, who are going to help us out with their th thinking. So the poem is called Easter Art. A canvas made of fragile shells, a palette filled with soft pastels. Each becomes a painted prize, a treasure in a child's eyes. Can you count each work of art? Here's a hint before you start. When it's paintings that you view, try to think in groups of two. All right, so you might want to pause for a minute to take some time to count the eggs. And then you can unpause to hear our thoughts. All right, Allie's going to share her thinking first. So I paired them in two. So I did two, four, six, eight. And then I took an egg and paired it up with these. So that's 10 and then 12. Okay, so Allie found 12 eggs. Okay, so we're going to just clear this off and start again. So Jamie's going to share how she counted her eggs. So even though it said to do it in twos, I did it a different way. I saw that this was five eggs and this was five eggs. And I knew since there were doubles, it made ten. Five and five made ten. And then I just added two more. And ten plus two is twelve. Good. Okay, also looking at that, so I she can know that this she can see with her eyes that that's five plus five is ten, and then she might even needed to count it on instead of doing ten plus two she could have did that, or she could have did ten, eleven, twelve. So that is those are just two ways that they found to count the eggs. Maybe you thought thought of it a different way. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.